Welcome back for the Mobile Gaming Fanatics. I'm my time to see Top Drives, and today we're going to look at some tips and tricks to help you increase that in game cash, dollar, wonga, money, cheddar, cheese, peas, whatever you want to call it. We're going to try and increase your in game reservoir of funds now these are some things that i have been doing a lot more frequently recently which have enabled me to increase my cash flow which then allows you to go out and either buy more ceramic packs if you're looking for fuse for your uh, current garage or it allows you to use to utilize your garage more and improve the cars you've already got now none of these things are going to be revolutionary and completely change the way you play the game but they're all things that if you haven't actively been doing you can do just to help boost your garage and give yourself a in my opinion a better chance overall in the game now in no particular order i'm going to start off with the first one and it's quite a big one because it's something i never used to do especially when it was first introduced is the club events now clubs are a great way to get cash and what i'm going to try and do is show you how you can almost min max your effort by minimizing the time playing clubs but trying to maximize the rewards you get from them so essentially what you will want to do is normally try to find an event that is going to end soon and join it and play five matches if you can and then just leave it that's what you're going to do okay if you can pick a team a match where you're going to win better because you can get more rewards if you can't then no problems five races will give you enough participation rewards to get something half decent in return whether your team wins or loses now if you want to be even quicker i'm in the midnight club so you can see here the ones with the blue running around the outside our event is the event that i'm in if i'm not in <coughs> excuse me not in an event the ones with blue running around the outside are events I can join. The ones like here with nothing around the outside are events that I can't join. So if all I can click on it, there's no point me clicking on these events to see um, how close they are to finishing because I can't join them anyway. Now, go to, just going to show what happens, you pull in a team, go to the match. Now, ideally, you want to try and win your races, but it isn't essential. Now, the great thing is you can quickly put your cars down. You only have to win by one point. This isn't, repeat, this isn't the same as, for example, um, doing events where you want to try and two-star or three-star in order to get more rewards. There are no individual rewards for each, each race. You literally do your race, skip it to the end, hope you've won move on rinse and repeat so i would literally come into here play another match forgot the same person great kind of know where i was going to put my cars so i can just say okay we're gonna have test bowl we're gonna have half mile we're gonna have drag we're gonna have streets we're gonna have monaco hairpin i know i'm gonna get about 200 points i know i'm gonna lose one race doesn't matter as long as i win by one point ideally then got a victory and i would have participated five times in this event then what I will be doing is literally coming out and leaving it, okay? Come back to claim my rewards in a bit. Not going to sit there and dwell on the event. While I'm waiting for that club event to do, to finish, I go into my second tip. And that is going to be participate in the events that are up in the game for you. Now, I'm going to start on daily event because this is going to be an event where I would suggest you farm it. And for example, what I would do is I would go in and I would pick five weak cars i throw them in i would then put my five weak cars in i would go back i would enter a match and i would just quit and do that five times very quickly leave it overnight because i kind of this these games reset at night time for me i then leave it overnight in the morning when i come to play it i'll be something like i am here zero for 15 zero for 16 i've played a few matches since then i would start to play the event and each time knowing that I was down near the bottom against other people with weak hands and then I could start getting free stars and obviously getting free star each time is going to give me more board pools and more board pools are going to be either 250 cash because I'm at RQ500 or cars which I can sell for 125, 250 or 1000 gold depending if it's common, uncommon or rare respectively. Now just a little side note, I do like to use what I kind of have called an advanced farming technique and this is what i'm doing here i am using a team which is maxed out but it is good enough to be as you can see here a weak team okay a weak team someone else who's put out a farming team i can easily get my three stars there but what will happen is if i were to come up against somebody who's put out a slightly stronger team this is a stronger farming team or somebody who is now trying to move up the rankings 
my team will lose. So if, for example, Levi here came to face me, he'd easily beat me, keep me ranked low down in the overall table, allowing me to still find other people with weak hands out and continuously play this event and get three stars. Now, you will want to just find out roughly what the actual track sets are so you can put in cards to make sure that you don't lose you don't want to be using a hand like this and not getting three stars okay the whole point is you want to still be farming getting three stars each for each ticket you use while you're waiting for your clubs to finish but you don't want to you don't want to be putting out a really strong team because you're going to move up the rankings quicker and it's going to be harder for you to three star people then what's going to happen is there's going to come a point where you're going to swap and you're going to put in a good team it'll be around probably eight hours or so to go and you're going to start to move up the ranks okay so this is tip three you want to try and rank well in events now the daily is slightly different but the idea here is you want to try and get in the top 30 for the daily not just for the 6,000 cash that you get but for the aluminium pack because worst case scenario you're going to get one super rare maybe two uncommons two commons which is another 1750 cash if you're lucky you're going to pull a super rare which can go towards fuse or maybe it might be a super rare you actually want to keep and if you're extremely lucky with that one in 65 or chance you might get an ultra rare so definitely worth then trying to move up the ranks and get into that 11 to 30 place and when you're going to do that you can use this team for a while to get yourself a few points then you're going to go put in your best team because the idea is you want to have the cars in there so when other people come to face you they're going to struggle to beat you so you can maintain the points you've got so for example i can continue moving up and i won't be consistently down in the minus i'll be able to get myself up into around the 30 40 points mark and then give myself a chance to pick <coughs> excuse me that aluminium pack now if you can get the top 10 even better don't worry about rank one it's going to be slightly different when you come to the other events and in this scenario what i would suggest is trying to get yourself into a position to finish in the top 10. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to play the event, even if you lose matches, that's fine, use your tickets, just to try and still get some of the board pulls, but try to get yourself a top 10 if you can. At the worst, top 30, because again, you will get 15,000 cash and the aluminium pack. But if you can top 10 these events, 20K cash is gonna help. Ceramic pack gives you a chance to get a legendary if you're extremely lucky those epics and ultra rares that you need and you're also guaranteed a super rare plus you're going to get a couple of you know rares which will sell for a couple of thousand these events can be a great way to keep the cash flow coming in if you're not really playing and you finish down in these ranks you're missing out on a chunk of cash there's 11k here plus all the extras you're going to get from the ceramic pack plus the fact that you may actually pull a card which is either great for you for fuse or a great card to add to your collection so that's what you're going to want to try and do with these events now i might be lucky enough here to finish in rank one to two that's not the key keys trying to come in the top two tiers while also not spending cash on your car so for example here all the cars that i'm using this event were already maxed out or i have not spent any cash on for this event <clears throat> i don't want to be investing my cash all my gold, but especially my cash, because we're talking about cash here, into cars for events that I'm only winning ceramic packs, okay? So we've done that. Now, with that in place, you could then do your races, come back to your club events, and your club race should hopefully be over. In which case, you could collect your rewards, now mine unfortunately isn't, and go and rinse and repeat. Then when you're off, you can put the game down now. You're going to come back in maybe an hour and a half, two hours time to play again. When your tickets are back up, you can then collect your club rewards and rinse and repeat. And doing that over the course of a week, I will promise you, it will it will increase your cash considerably in, sorry, in comparison to what you were previously making. Now, something else which you can also do and this is more of a mindset, I guess, and this is going to be a little bit controversial, but you want to try and 
spend conservatively. So tip four is spend conservatively. And by that, what I mean is if you've got a card that you haven't found a reason to use yet or, or a real need to use, for example, my McLaren here, don't invest your cash into it just for the sake of one star in it. Now it's different if it's a car that you really, really, really want to use or a car that you are gonna be using, fine. If you find the vent that you're gonna use it and you put the cash into it, fine. But until that stage comes, keep the car as stock. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is. There's no point investing that cash into a car that you don't use because it's dead money, okay? You're miles better off to wait until that time comes where you use the car and then you say, okay, cool. Now I'll put the cash into it, get it to that one star, etc., and use it from there on. Um, I'm trying to find a few other things, like for example, the, the crossbow here. I may build this, I may not, but regardless, I'm not going to invest the cash in it at the moment because it's going to be dead money sitting in that car, where instead I could put it into another car that I'm currently using or a car that could help me do well in an event or something like that. Now, fifth tip here, and this is this is the controversial one. You can sell unnecessary cars, and I'm going to categorize some unnecessary cars as some prize cars. Now, first of all, you can sell any standard cars that you got sat in your garage that you don't need. And by that, I'm talking about common, uncommon and rares. If you've got an abundance of them, you can start letting those cars go. They'll free up some slots for you and you can always get them back fairly easily, especially if you get involved in the events and doing the doing those kind of things, you're gonna get some cars back. Now, the other thing you wanna do, and now by this I mean um, sell unnecessary cars, when you get rewards, don't just come and take these Mazdas and these Chevrolets, etc., and add them into your garage. Unless you need them, recycle that cash back into your pool and then go and do something useful with it. Now, the point I was just making before with the price cars, which is a little bit controversial, is you can actually sell some price cars now because Hutch has changed, okay? It has changed the requirements for many of the events. And what I'm talking about I'm not talking about selling price cars like the Maserati and Infinity, even if you don't use them, keep them because they may never come about in the game again. Um, don't just invest in these cars because they're price cars. You see, I haven't bothered with these yet. I wish I hadn't invested in the NSX because it's a car I've barely used. I thought it, I was gonna use it a lot more. Haven't really found a reason to use the car. So I'd rather have that cash back to be honest with you at the moment. Other cars like the Alpine, the Pontiac, great. Medium ground clearance cars, great for French events, American events. Cool, got a use for them, max them out, no problems. Ones that you haven't found a use for yet, don't just push your cash into them. You know, I know a four wheel drive um, off road tire car, it's gonna be fairly useful sometimes, so happy to max out the Hummer H3T. But again, the Lancer, not found too many places to use it yet. It doesn't do anything particularly like amazing. Um, as a result, it just sits in the garage. But now there are gonna be some cars, and they're gonna be cars that used to be prize cars and what we call keys into events that are no longer gonna be needed. Hutch are now giving you actual key tokens which will save garage spaces, which means these prize cars are no longer needed. Now, I'm not saying sell them all, okay? You're gonna keep your Alpha Spiders for the moment because they are needed for Arc 7 and arc eight. So keep your S3s, your S2s. I'm not sure if you need the S1s, but keep the alpha spiders for a moment. But then for example, with these Volkswagens and the Peugeots, I mean, if it's a car that has a use, you might say, I'm gonna keep the Peugeot 404 because it's medium ground clearance. And if I ever need a really, really low RQ car that can do city streets or something, I can throw this in. Cool, fine. But you don't need to have three, four, five, six of them. As you can see, I have already sold quite a lot of my duplicate cars for that reason. Um, I would definitely suggest keeping one because you may never be able to get this Peugeot 203 again in the game, for example. So fine, keep one, have it in your garage, it's there. But unless it's a car that you find you have been using, then I don't see the point in you holding onto it. So for example here, I can unlock this Peugeot 305, I'm gonna get another 6,100 cash back, and I'm also gonna free up a garage slot. And especially for newer people, or people who maybe haven't played the game for so long, don't have as many garage slots, you can probably come through and free up a few spaces like that and a bit more cash, which you can then reinvest into something that you actually do use. So yeah, I'm not 
advocating selling all your price cars okay so please 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 do not think that is what i am trying to suggest i'm just saying there are going to be some that you do not need duplicates of that you can free up the cash then with that cash you can either invest in a car or you can come and do something like this open a ceramic pack and look at it with the with the intention that anything that isn't super rare above is just a resale so we go back into the cash box back into the cash box back into the cash box cash box and finally what do we get okay it's a Persia 208 I've got one of those that's going to be a fuse no problem so you can come in here if you're ever unsure you can click on your filter make sure you click on all the cars that you want to keep first add them then that'll just leave you your fodder cars after and you can quickly go through reinvest that cash back in the 1750 there back into the into the cash reserves and we move on so yeah there are a few things that hopefully will help you to farming the daily events the doing the clubs the going through and selling unnecessary cars in your garage and also not going around and spending your cash on cars that you're not currently using will all help you especially week after week after week to increase those funds and even if you don't keep them in the bank they're going to give you more opportunities to go and buy ceramic packs improve the cars you've already got and obviously ultimately improve your garage and allow you to be more competitive in events so if you found that useful please let me know in the comment section below thank you as ever for watching i've been my time i hope you have a great weekend and i'll see you all soon